tell you what's absolutely insane. That we live in a world now where this technology, where we can go on and describe something in just a few words. And that technology will create an image or a video based on what we typed in. That's pretty nuts. So as content creators, it's fair to say that AI is changing the game because it allows us to create images, videos, and all kinds of other things really faster, better, and easier than ever before, which lets us kind of focus on what we want to do, publishing content. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to generate images and videos with just a few words using one of my favorite, if not the best graphic design tool, Canva. It's a super easy process, even if you're not the most tech-friendly person in the world. Make sure you let me know in the comments what you think of this and whether it's going to help you with your content creation. Okay, so we've just dived right into Canva. Now, I'm going to use a video template. I'm going to just click on this video option here and create a blank template. Okay, so the feature we're going to use is called Magic Media. Now, the way to find this is to click on the Elements button, and then on this uh, kind of toolbar if you like you've got various different um, sections and one of them says AI image generator so we're just going to click on generate your own and what that does is it loads up this magic media section now this is really intuitive really simple to use basically you put a description in and um, that you want to create and sometimes the more precise the description that you put in the better the results will be um, we've got it on images but you can also create graphics and videos you enter your description in here. Now I'm just gonna tie, I'm just gonna click on the inspire me button. So portrait of a girl with no makeup and messy dark hair wearing glasses. Let's just add a little bit to that. And you've got various different styles. So if we click on see all, these are the different styles that you've got. You've got photography, digital art, you've got fine art. These are all these different options. So lots of different things that we can do. So let's just leave it on none for now. Aspect ratio is obviously the format if you want square, landscape, portrait, uh, depending on what kind of content you're creating and the format that you're creating it in. And then just below here, you've got the generate button, but also it's telling you your credits. So your credits should reset um, every month. So you can see there, although that's in US format, that's telling me the 1st of June, my credits will reset and it uses one. Most applications that use AI use a credit system and that's because they will pay for the underlying amount and it can be open to abuse if someone sat there creating videos non-stop all day every day so this isn't unusual um, and it looks like it'll be absolutely ample i can't imagine i would ever use 500 credits in a month on images anyway stop talking click on generate image and let's see what the results are like if you have messed around with ai imaging before then you'll know that these different um kind of uh, AI processes, if you like, that can be used. Um, I believe Canva is using Dali, which I think is one of the better ones out there. And if we just click on some of these results, um, clicking on them will insert them into the actual uh, canvas as well. Now, all look pretty similar, to be honest, but, I mean, the brief was a girl with no makeup and messy dark hair wearing glasses. I mean, that that's pretty remarkable, isn't it? I mean, the, the actual... Um, quality of these AI tools now and what they can generate generate bear, bearing in mind that person isn't actually real it's pretty it's pretty nuts isn't it it blows my mind a little bit to be honest so all of them are really good options I mean what we could do is let's try let's try adding a style let's try filmic I can't imagine filmic will be much different to these to be honest but let's give it a whirl see what happens Okay, so these are the results that we've got for Filmic. And again, really, really good quality. Let's try a different prompt this time. Let's try something a little bit more unusual. Um, let's try... So, a birthday cake made of rainbows and unicorns. It really helps if you can spell as well, which isn't uh, my strong point. Uh, style. Let's go for something a bit different. Let's go for uh, vibrant. And let's see what that produces. Okay, so these are the results, and to be honest, they look pretty good. They look exactly what I asked for. Uh, it might not be the world's best cake baker, <laughs> but uh, I can see rainbows, I can see unicorns, and I can see um, I can see cakes. So pretty good, and definitely better than I could make anyway. Even if they aren't the greatest um, baker of all time, uh, let's try one more. So let's make it a little bit more random this time, and styles. Let's go for, uh, let's just go for photo. And again, let's correct my awful spelling. I'm just gonna click on generate. 
So let's take a look at the results. Now, AI can sometimes be pretty bad with humans because it can miss fingers off and give them 27 eyes and all sorts. Um, so a few of these I'm not expecting. Like that one, look at the person in the background. That's pretty woeful, to be honest. Um, uh, again, not mad keen. This one looks pretty good, though. Yeah, certainly that one. That does dis that does show what we asked for. I'm just checking. There's a little bit of detail around the hands and maybe the knee, but I mean, considering he's just made that image up, it's pretty good. But people is usually the downfall with AI image generators, especially when we're asking to show like all limbs. Um, but it's all right. It's not bad. Not bad. Let's try. So let's try a really bizarre one and see how it copes with that. Okay, so it's gone, even though I put a style none, it's gone very cartoony with this one. Um, now, has it followed the brief, so to speak? It hasn't. Where's the underpants? The underpants are supposed to be on the outside. So, I mean, it's put a, it's certainly done a spaceman landing on Mars, and the colours all look all right, but there's no underpants on the outside, which is a bit disappointing. Um, but maybe I pushed it a bit too far with the weirdness on that one. Now, you've also got graphics. So um, let's just click on Inspire Me, a modern home with a lush garden. And again, there was different styles that we could use. Let's just delete these. So it's come back with these now. So these are graphics, remember, not photos. So um, these are these are more for like icons and um, using within like, I suppose, like marketing material, that kind of thing. And I think they're pretty good, to be honest. I think they followed the brief quite well. Um, they all look exactly like what we asked for. So I'm happy with them. They're, they're good. Let's try another one. So let's try a uh, gnome with blue hat. And I'm just going to put a sticker. So the reason I'm going to put a sticker is I don't know how much you're into your crafts, but my, my wife has one of them cricket machines where you can create your own stickers. Um, I was wondering what the results will be like and whether this is an easy way to create kind of custom stickers that you can um, almost uh, unlimited by your, your, your own imagination. There you go. We asked for a gnome with a blue hat. It wasn't very specific, and we got four gnomes with blue hats. And it puts, I mean, you can't see it there. Let me just change the background of this image to black. And what it does is it puts this white outline round. So that'll be so you can cut it and use it as a sticker. So that's done exactly what we asked it for. Again, impressed with that. Really good results. Lastly, let's have a look at videos. So. Videos is an area with AI that is improving quick, but the results are not great at the moment. So um, Runway is the uh, the leader from what I can see. Um, you can use Runway direct on their site if you like. Um, I do think it's coming on fast and each day the results are getting better and better and better. Um, but it's probably got a little bit of catch up to do with images. So let's just try this one. So smoke billowing from the mouth of an active volcano. And it does... It does kind of caveat there. This is experimental new technology. Scenes with people or animals may not look quite right. So a little bit like them images, it's, that is where AI struggles the most. So we'll click generate video. I suspect this will take a little bit. So um, let's just wait and see what that produces. Okay, so that's now finished. So let's, um, let's put the video into our um, canvas and let's take a look what it looks like. So... Uh, let's just drag this actually, let's do it full screen for maximum effect. And let's just press play. That's actually pretty good. Um, so it's only four seconds long. Does it do what we asked it for? Smoke billowing from the mouth of an active volcano. Yes, it does. The smoke's coming out, the cloud's moving, it's got motion in there. I think that's decent. Um, it is only four seconds and it does only create short videos. But I think that's done exactly what we asked it to do. Now, let's let's push it a little bit and try it to do something uh, more difficult with an animal. Let's do one of a... So let's do a leopard running across the African plains and click generate and just get rid of the volcano. Okay, so that took about a minute and a half, but let's see what the results are again. So let's click on it. And we asked for a leopard running across the African plains. And we already know, because they've already caveated it, that uh, people and animals aren't the strong points. Let's see what the results are like by pressing play. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's a. Um, I did wonder whether I'd clicked uh, play then, because that's um, certainly not what I was expecting. 
So the leopard that's running across the African plains isn't doing a lot of running, to be honest. In fact, I'm not even sure the leopard is alive. If I press play again, you can see the dust is moving. That's quite a cool effect. I quite like that. Um, but the leopard, um, I don't know, maybe the leopard has seen its prey and he's just sat there waiting for the right move. But let's put that one down as a fail um, and put a one on the rate this video. This feedback obviously helps. Um, the, like I say, there are limitations around video. But I thought the graphics worked really well. I thought the images worked really well, apart from his underpants weren't on the outside, which is disappointing. But that's probably down to my prompt building skills. And I think the future of video will just be mind-blowing. Now, all of this is within Canva, a graphic design tool. that you, It has hundreds of different features. It's by far my most most used application for my content creation and there's loads of reasons why I think you should probably try Canva yourself. So I'm actually going to put a video above now which is another reason why it could help you with your content creation especially if you're a YouTuber. So let me know in the comments as well what you think of the magic media function. Is it going to be useful? Have you tried it? What were the results like? What worked? What didn't work? I'd love to know more and I'll see you on the next video.